they'd been sitting on it for a while and I'd been watching it, you know, for a while myself and I knew it was good and I really wanted to get out there and the music was important and the edits were important and the people were great and um, so we just, I was quietly confident people would like it but I didn't know and I didn't realise how much they'd like it, you know, that's the great thing about Twitter for example, it's straight away you're getting just people just telling you they like it or they don't like it or whatever and we got massive feedback and it was, um, it was beyond my wildest dreams really. What had happened was we were driving around in the car, so the, there was a um, produ production car, because I'm associate producer on it as well, so I'd be sitting with Chris the director, or Chris the producer, George the director and myself going, driving around in the first series and I just had a little speaker plugged into my, um, into my iPhone and I just played tunes, go what do you think of this, what do you think of that? And Chris is a great producer but his taste in music doesn't go much further than Dolly Parton and Bruce Springsteen to be fair, you know what I mean? He thinks Tina Turner's amazing, do you know what I mean? You, you've got a big brother like that, don't you? Just after the scene live here, they just shut down, didn't buy any more tracks. They bought everything, every status quo track since Living on an Island type thing, you know? So it was an education for him, but also between George and I, it was a real sort of getting to know each other. And I was, because I was an ex-courier, music was very important to me on the push bike, you know, because it's, and I like to dance, so there's, a, there's the rhythm of the bike and there's the rhythm of dancing as well. So there's times when you're on the bike that, you know, I've got a song in my head, or sometimes I ride with headphones, um, headphones on, you know, that, you know, if you're knackered, that can get you up a wee bit, you know. If I was to play a track that if I had to, um, that would keep me going all day. There's a track called Beating Around the Bush by ACDC that's off Bon Scott's last album, um, The Year Before He Died, The Highway to Hell. Uh, there's a track called Beating Around the Bush, which is just the opening licks of, oh, I'm on my way, I'm off down the road, you know what I mean? I can climb Mount Von Tu on a, a unicycle with it. <laughs> You know, uh, what we're, to, and I'm not being vague and I'm not trying to be evasive, we don't know yet. I'm trying to get as much out there as possible because um, we're going on a journey with this one, you know. I'm, I'm going to be camping. I'm going to be um, staying in a, a man's de bongo at night time. So I'm going to be cycling and we're going to drive to somewhere, park the, uh, the camper van up and then I'm going to cycle around there and then come back to the bongo that night, camp, cook put my thoughts to camera and then get up the next day and make breakfast and continue on. So you'll see there's, there's more of a travelogue to it. There's going to be more of a travelogue to it. And it's a, you know, um, I'm just getting out and seeing so the highways and the byways, you know. Mm -hmm.